Hi, my name is Gavin Hunt. I'm the secretary for the Long Beach Cactus Club, and I'm here with Peter Walkowiak. Peter, how are you doing today? Oh, great. Great. I'm happy. I got five plants on the trophy table. What's this, uh, this very large centerpiece that we have behind us? That plant I purchased 40 years ago from Manny Singer. A lot of people got their first plants from him. Um, so that, that, when I bought it, was just four inches tall or so. Have you had it staged the entire time and you've just slowly... Um, I've had it staged it? for the last 15 years oh, or wow. so. Okay. Yeah, I've been bringing it to shows. It oftentimes is where it's at, at you know, in the show. That's it's awesome. a trophy plant because it is a spectacular plant. Oh yeah, it really catches the eye, especially when it's in full bloom like Full bloom. That. Yeah. And this, the, this show is timed perfectly for it because it comes in the bloom of, in uh, July. Okay. How long does it hold the flowers? Uh, it'll keep blooming until January. Oh, wow. That's a good amount of time. Yeah. Half a year or so. Yep. All right. So right next to your Adenium Swazicum, you also won Best Argentine Cactus with Lobivia ridiana. What can you tell me about that plant, Peter? Well, I've had that for probably 20 years as well. Um, it's in a Don Hunt pot. It, it has little purple flowers. I mean, the last uh, three or four years, it's really come onto its own. The spines got longer. I mean, it's just become a spectacular plant. All right, Peter, so we have best euphorbia in the show with euphorbia ferox. How old would you say this plant is? I've had this, I started this about 15 years ago. Wow. Um, I have three more just like this one, but yeah, it's like any, any, you know, which one do I want to plant? So I just put, grab the easiest one and put, put it in a pot a few months ago. It's a pretty spectacular clone. It has a very nice purple s spines on it, oh, yeah. and it maintains that very well. I've seen other clones that just don't, don't do that. Peter, when you're transplanting something like this, how do you protect yourself and the plant during that process? Uh, you wear gloves, you use materials like carpet or, or newspaper, so, so you don't actually touch it. Hey, I set the in between you and the plant, and it protects the plant and protects you that way. Um, and that's the easiest way to do it. I always think about how I'm going to do it before I ever even get started doing it. I don't just start going going at it. It's like I I start with the strategy, and and that way I, I I'm pretty comfortable with with doing it. So here we have category 128 collections of five to twelve plants. This is Peter's Euphorbia Mini Medusa Hybrid Multi-Head Collection. Peter, what would you like to uh, tell everyone about these plants? I grow these in full sun. Here, I live in San Diego County. Uh, they, 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 they perform wonderfully. These are all about 15 to 20 years old. Uh, in the beginning, the bees, I just started collecting the seed and it was all random because the bees pollinated them all. And so I just started growing them and I got, got some really neat variations. And this is sort of representing some of my variations. And this, I have single heads and I have the multiple heads like these. And they, they develop these beautiful trunks on them over time. And that's when I feel that they, they really stand out. When you have just a single, uh, or the heads all compact, you don't see the, all the character that they develop over time. Yeah, the variation in them is pretty amazing. So what species have contributed contributed to these hybrids? Uh, Decepta, Reberama, Gorgonus, Fangeni, a lot of the, the those type of ones that I started with, yes. Most of these plants have already been potted up for about six years and they're still happy in the same size pot. So if you don't have a lot of space, these are great plants. All right, Peter, so here we have, I believe a few of your adenium, but this one right here that won the Judge's Choice Outstanding Award is in Adenium Bomeanum. What can you tell us about this plant, Peter? I've had this for 20 years. It's from the Nibia, Angola region. Um, this is one of the tallest Adeniums. Okay. It, can, it can reach 8 feet to 12 feet. And this is about 20 years old at this, this stage. Wow. They come in this spectacular bloom at this time of year. And then did the blooms last as long on this one as the swastika? Yes, they do. They do? They'll bloom again. They'll probably wrap up in around January. Wow, very cool. 
was this ever planted in like a large pot to allow it to grow faster? Or have you just progressively staged it? As I've been progressively staging it up. Okay. It's actually to the point now where it's starting to grow out of this pot. Yeah. If you notice how the gravel's all sloping up, yeah. it's pushing up out of the pot. Okay. When you're growing caducifer, it's good, always good to have a wide brim pot because that way it'll push up and it won't break your pot. Yeah. So before you show a plant like this, what do you do to prepare it um, for showing? Just make sure, try to clean all the dead flowers out and that kind of thing. Um, usually these aren't that much, require much cleanup other than once they start flowering, they get messy. So okay. and, and there'll be lots of, I can see here there's a dead flower in here. All right, Peter. So here we have, are these Madagascan euphorbias? No, they, these are all South African. This one's um, farther north, uh, probably Kenya or something. This is Lanutonii. Lan uh, it's one you don't see very commonly. It forms like the little scrubby brush. Um, euphorbia Susanne, most people have never seen a Susanne this large. No, I've got four, four others like that. I admit, this is one's actually a male. I have the females get a little scarring from the from the peduncles from the flowering, so they're not quite as clean looking as the males. Uh, I have Euphorbia tuba glands. I bought this 20 years ago from Pet Petra. Oh, okay. Um, Euphorbia uh, polygona snowflake, and then the next one over is the Euphorbia bupulifolia hybrid. They came up in one of my seed batches in my Bupleura folia. I don't know what to hybridize with, but it has these really long tubercles. I really like that. Um, another one you don't see very often is Euphorbia lignosa. Um, and, and it forms a little caudex in the, underneath there. And then the other one is, you don't see very often either is Palmata. And that one gets really red uh, Cyathea in the, in the after it flowers around February, it's really quite stunning at that point. It turns all turns all bright red. I want to thank you, Peter, one of our lifetime Long Beach members, for showing me around the uh, showroom and highlighting some of your amazing plants. So thank well, you, Peter. Thank you. I'm happy to highlight them. Thank you.